I'd like to grant a warm welcome to everyone. This is a very important moment for L'Arche as we celebrate our past and look with hope towards our future. Thank you for joining us to mark this milestone and witness the blessing of the land, which is located on the shared ancestral and ceded territories of the unceded territory of the Hunkamenum and Squohomish speaking peoples. Astamas etiman etisant spray. Shortman nana teche termoch, ye aquanachta aswa asna. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Meakta aswa asyamen, hoyak itewa termoch. Tima Christmas hoy, tanachet temoch. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Sachi temoch chuk qui Satan chet, e te was quail. Give us this day our daily bread. E mine chuk te ki what sates up chet, Timas Christ mine chet, te ki waits up. Timoth as tenach stelmach. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Iwa yos tumoth quis has quat mitesas. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hath quis timas. Amen. This is your chance to learn Squamish. Hath Chris Timas. Right, I'll give you an A for that. <laughs> okay, so I shall use the smudging with the medicines to cleanse the land and set this groundbreaking in a good way. That's what the reason of the smudging is for. This is so that your eyes can clearly see what's taking place today. This is for your mouth, so you may speak good things. This is for your ears, so you can hear what words are spoken today. Thank you so much for inviting me to join today's celebration and land blessing event. Larsh, Greater Vancouver, truly is a valued part of the Burnaby community. And today marks an important milestone for the organization and indeed for the community. Today is a chance to reflect on all the meaningful connections that Larsh has helped create in the community. And it's also an opportunity to look ahead and to imagine how Larsh's program can continue to grow and serve the needs of vulnerable folks in Burnaby. If you look back at the history of the treatment of people with disabilities in the province of British Columbia, uh, it was typically done to exclude and put them into institutions, put them away, take them from their families, take them away from the community. And there was a great deal of harm uh, done to the community as well as to those individuals. And with the return of people back to the community, uh, it's been partially successful because we brought people back into the community but we need to do more to make them part of the community. And that's something that's very exciting about this project is you're not just going to be providing housing or places for people to do things, but you're going to provide them with a community. And I think that that's something over the last 20 months has really been emphasized as we've struggled with the pandemic. We all needed a safe home and we all needed to be with safe people. And this project really speaks to that. So four years ago, uh, when we were approached, the Sisters of St. Anne felt that this project resounded deeply with who we are as a congregation, as a community of faith. And it especially resonated with us because the charism of our foundress, Blessed Marianne Blondin, is that she had a dream, she yearned for the fullness of life for every human being, and especially for those 
who are normally excluded from many aspects of society. So when you approached us, we said, yes. Uh, the Murdoch Trust is based in the U.S., serves the five states of the Pacific Northwest, and in B.C. we make grants to uh, faith-based organizations. Murdoch Trust was so uh, encouraged because of the, the meaningfulness of the way that L'Arche Vancouver serves and loves for people to live in community together of all abilities. It's, it's really humbling and amazing. And uh, so it's my uh, privilege to say that they made a $750,000 U.S. dollar gift. So, uh, yeah. Murdoch Trust really sees this as a challenge to the community and others to really step up and support L'Arche and organizations like L'Arche. And I think uh, they really believe that the model that is being done here, the mixed uh, market housing and below market housing and the uh, living people with abilities and disabilities living together will be a model for Canada and and across the world So we're really excited about that. So, thank you very much It is such a special moment in the history of our community and This dream of a new building with the ability to welcome many more people into our community has been over a decade in the making and it has been quite the journey to get to this point. And we know that it'll be a few years yet before we move in, if you can see. But um, I really, really trust in God's providence and it will be ready at the appointed time. Every step of the way we have been given who and what we need to help us get to this point. So the adventure will continue and I just want to take a few minutes to thank um, many people. Um, first of all, I want to thank the members of the L'Arche community and the boards for their work and their courage to step into this new vision because it's a really big step. And I want to th offer heartfelt thanks to our very generous donors who have believed in our dream and supported it through their encouragement and their financial contributions. With this most wonderful news from Lawrence today and the support of Murdoch Charitable Trust, we have now raised approximately 4.4 million towards our $6 million capital campaign goal. Denise mentioned that uh, they had a dream before I got here and it was uh, about just renovating a part of the building and we had a number of discussions about trying to expand that dream and uh, what Denise didn't share with you is that her words to me was, over my dead body will we take down this building. <laughs> I was going to just say, good news is, she's still with us. Uh, Larsh has done remarkable work throughout the world in honoring the gifts of all people and celebrating the contributions of people with disabilities and those of us that have had the good fortune to be in a deep loving relationship with someone with a disability we know that the gifts that we receive in those relationships are they're different they're all, they're not tangible gifts in a way but they're the gifts of the heart and it was one of the things that drew me to L'Arche because I, I appreciated their honoring of people like my son. And I wanted more people to be touched in the way that my heart was touched by the relationship with my son. And so I saw L'Arche as a way for that to happen. So we're in this space now between one vision and the next vision and so we're in between but we're in a place of pure creativity which is one of the greatest gifts that we're given from the Creator and as we talked about a way to celebrate and honor this community we felt it was important to have a foundation stone and the words from the Bible that says upon this rock I will build my church I too think that upon this rock we will build this community May the grace and peace of God our Father, the source of all blessings, be with you all. And also with you.
We gather today to celebrate the life of L'Arche Greater Vancouver, past, present, future. We gather to give thanks for the people who have contributed to the richness of our life and mission lived out in this place, for the building that has given us shelter and the center for gathering, learning, and growing together in love, for the land which has provided a firm foundation and upon which we will continue to build for what has been and what will continue to be. We gather in the loving presence of God to celebrate a new beginning, to build a place where all are welcome. God of all places, be present with those who gather here to set apart this ground to the honor and glory of your name. May your spirit descend upon this community that we who gather here in this place may continue to discover our gifts and be strengthened for the benefits of the world may worship you in spirit and in truth, may learn of you, may grow together in love, and thus may be strengthened to love and serve you everywhere. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our cornerstone. Amen. Amen. You are God's building. For we are God's co-workers, you are God's field, God's building. According to the grace of God given to me like a wise master builder, I laid a foundation, and another is building upon it. But each one must be careful how he builds upon it, for no one can lay a foundation other than the one that is there, namely Jesus Christ. So, Lars Vancouver is a living proof. It's a living proof that a throwaway culture which makes people feel that they don't belong or discards them that such of you need not triumph. Indeed, it is not triumphing. It's not prevailing. And L'Arche is a wonderful sign of contradiction to those who would, who would sponsor or foster that kind of throwaway culture. We all belong. O oh, creator of all life, you, you promise, promise to be present wherever two or three are gathered in your name. By the power of your spirit, we dedicate this place the future home of L'Arche, a place where we lives will be shared with one another and with the wider community. Bless us and sanctify what we do today, that this may continue to be a place of welcome from which we can make known the gifts you have bestowed on us, revealed through mutually transforming relationships, and work together for a more just and human society. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare this to be a place where all are welcome, where we share our lives with one another in mutual affection to learn and to grow and to dedicate our lives to the service of God and to the world. Peace be to all who will enter here and to all who will go out from here. Peace be to all who will live in this place. Peace be to all who will worship here and who love in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Protect those who will be building this new home. Keep them safe and help their labor to progress to its successful completion. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us build a house where love can dwell and all can safely live. A place where saints and children tell how hearts learn to forgive. Built of hopes and dreams and visions, rock of faith and vault of grace. Here the love of Christ shall and he visions. All are welcome. All